Welcome back, it's Under Drummer here. How you guys doing? One day before Halloween, episode 20, Baldur's Gate the Original Saga. So, where do we leave off? Oh, that's right. Ulcaster. Ulcaster was just a red herring. Nothing going on here. So, we gained a few levels, and that was about it. Let's just get out of this place. We're going to find some side quests if it's the last thing we do here. We could go back to this little farm and fight some ink eggs and see how we how we do there. Remember, we we really sucked at fighting ink eggs. Ink egg attacks Garrick, so it's behind us, to the right of us. There it is. Everyone attack this ink egg, and now that we don't have any armor, oh, that's right, we've got this awesome wand. But let's try Garrick's. Oops, not that. Let's try Garrick's magic missile here. Oh! Boom! Boom! Hit him again, Garrick. Hit him again. Nice to have a magic user. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. I think we just killed it. No? Close, though. Move back this way, guys. Did it run? Come back here, you yellow belly bastard. Oh, like nothing. 975, that's quite a bit of experience, too. Of course, remember, we're splitting that, but... Come on. Yeah. And we know we can't carry that one. Should we check out Olgoth's beard? Why not? We're gonna have to go there eventually. And sell some stuff. Probably get more side quests. Whoa! The journey took 20 hours. The village of Ulgoth's beard lies on the banks of the river Chiantar, just upstream from Baldur's Gate, and the open sea beyond. This farm-dotted countryside is usually a peaceful haven from the turmoil of the Sword Coast. Although, as of late, the same cannot be said of Ulgoth's beard itself. The simple fishing village has become the source of many a rumor in recent days. Rumors of an ancient cult risen again, unsubstantiated tales of a murderous creature stalking the night, and talk of strange goings-on in the house of Chandelar, the powerful and eccentric mage who makes his home in the normally sleepy village. You have also heard with certainty that tours of the fabled Tower of Duralog operate from Ulgoth's beard, and that it is truly a place where adventurers can test their mettle. The fabled Tower of Duralog. Perhaps such a test will better prepare you to fight the darkness that threatens to destroy the Sword Coast and you with it. Okay. You don't look like you're from around here. That Mendes, he's a snob. Never a kind word for anyone. Thinks he's better than me on account of his education. Just because he passed the fifth grade. He thinks he's all smart and shit. Well, hello there, young'un. That Mendes, he's a snob. He is. Never a kind word. All right, everybody hates Mendes. Mendes is a jerk. You have something to say? Don't tell her that I said so, but I hear that Mistress Malaroy has the Kalimashan itch. Hmm. Okay. Sounds like a feminine issue. Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Delvis Survey Fatian. Delsvertanian. Delsvertanian. What do you want? I ask you. Say quick now. I close soon and not open for customers who not come. Good merchant. What is your worry? You seem troubled. I'll not suffer this treatment. I'll take my business elsewhere. No. No need to be rude about it. Do you want my business or not? Well, say, good merchant. What is your worry? Yea, you all nice now, but no gold, right? 
to see him all day, every day, night too sometimes. Nice people come, look and look and say nice, nice and leave. I lose patience for the nice to look at pretty to hold, but don't buy a suffering thing. You here to buy or just say nice and leave? Wow. Okay, might be interested. What are you dealing? I sell the small and shinies. Who's this, Gollum? For the tourists in the Durlag's tower, but there are none now there. Bandits on the roads keep the people off away, so I am stuck with all the stock I am. Wards, tokens, I have all shapes and sizes. Some I found by Elven Rune, and some I made myself. I made maybe some good, or maybe some all bad, but don't think they're all pretty. I tell you what I will. I sell you everything I have. You buy for a low, low price of 500 gold is all. Then I go home where they appreciate the bottle shine. Buy or no, and walk to walk. You have a deal and done. Oh, hell, now I'm doing it. Just too expensive at that price. Go a little lower and I may consider. I have no need for your trinkets, boy. Let's say too is tis too expensive. Lower? Tis my whole stock. It is lower you want? Let me just check a few signs I will. No, the stars have not turned the fireflies. Pigs do not fly and the lower plains hath not frozen over. So it's not gonna happen. When last time I checked, I did not have fool test due to cross my forehead. I did not get out and go hence. Okay. Journal updated. Uh, a gnome named Delver Fatanian offered me the contents of his entire store. Seems he wants out of the business. I refused. His asking price was too expensive. What's this? The townsfolk are not fond of Mendes. Okay. And we know this one. Someone's name, someone named Ike is giving tours of Durlog's Tower. I would assume that they only take people through rooms that, has been, that have been cleared of traps. Perhaps I should ask someone who has taken the tour. There is a man named Fenris who has done, done so. I can find him near the docks. Gosh, we've already got a lot here. Uh, old, it was as Keldath Olmar told us there's a price on the head of a man named Basilia. So that's right, we got that from the temple. Okay, all kinds of quests. Awesome. So, let's uh, save it. And can we talk to him again? Alright, let's see what he has. I, I'm curious as shit. We can always save scum. Sure. Fine, I shall take everything for you. Good and done. Now take it all. Go out so I can pack and go. Tis enough of my time in this place gone and lost for me. Okay. Alright, so all this shit's been dropped. So let's see what it is. Rings. Crappy rings. Some kind of shield. This city has a sense of evil about it. Yes, sir. Oh, really? The city has a sense of evil? As most wards are quite unique and specific in their nature, it is rare to find one with more than one purpose. Okay. Well, I don't know. Is that worth $500? I guess we're going to go with it. So, for we paid $500 for two ward stones. Both are unidentified. It's a good year for codfish. I'll have fried tongues for my boys tonight. Okay. You have need of me? Good for you. You. The horse says hello. Okay, Jim Gaffigan. My wife says that Ike Cascadian and Vendor made a pass at her. I break his spine, except my wife says that everyone makes a pass at her. <laughs> I'd even go so far as to believe her if she wasn't so ugly. <laughs> of course, I ain't no foppish no woman myself. Why am I telling you this? <laughs> ah, that's good. Gotta put a little Huber in there. Oh, who's this foppy fopper? Well, we gotta sell. Any place to sell? I must be speaking to you. Ooh, Mendes. Oh, uh, hello, friends. It is a pleasure meeting with you. You are heroes for Sword Coast. I um long wait to meet you. I am Mendes of Waterdeep, quester of small truth in this land. We, that is I, am in need of your favor from you. I have a money for pay and a big heart for friendship. Can help a gentle fellow in search for knowledge. Knowledge is a worthy pursuit, my friend. I will help if I can. Consult a library, sir. I have no time for such as you. You mentioned money. We're going to say, knowledge is a worthy pursuit, my friend. I will help you if I can. Tragic things are happening in this unfair, uh, how you say, world. The men with power, they hurt the men with none. They destroy things that teach us better life. I tell you true, it would be better if these men are not born. This merchant league, these bad men, they find the island to the west. The island has a broken ship and a shipwreck. Very old shipwreck, they say. Okay, get on with it, man. You're as long-witted as Volo. How did the merchant league discover the island? 
They sail to New World and big storm blow them north. The sailors can control boat and is almost crashed on island rocks. It is very stormy, but they can see the old wrecked ship. They come back to Bondless Gate and sell she sea shirts by the seashore. <laughs> they come back to Baldur's Gate and sell sea shirts to Merchant League, a box upon them. Where is this leading, sir? Or why is the Merchant's League interested in an island in the middle of nowhere? What does it boast besides dangerous shores and a rotting ship? These merchant men are greedy. They want island and ship. May their bones rot in nine hells. The merchants want treasures on the new world. The trackless sea is very wide, so merchant league ships must stop for supplies. They would stop at Evermeet, but Elf's place is north too much. Only place to stop is Sundra on Latin, Lantan, but fees are very expensive. Merchant men lose money too much in Sundra. The merchant sailors see more than shipwreck on island. They see big harbor also. They want to turn this harbor into the new stop for ships from Waterdeep of Baldur's Gate. Okay, what about the shipwreck, or why is all this so important to you? Why is all this so important to you? I am a man of science. Merchant League men moved only by greed. They will destroy knowledge I need from the ships, from the ship in their lust for wealth and take advantage. Curse their black hearts. What knowledge does a rotting shipwreck hold? Jeez. Or the petty squabbles of merchants and scholars matter not to me. No. We'll say what knowledge does a rotting shipwreck hold? What knowledge does a rotting shipwreck hold? The merchant league sailors see markings on the ship. The shipwreck hero is Baldurin's. These men, they think that Baldurin had much treasure on his final voyage. Maybe this is true, but ship also has many artifacts. These things hold knowledge of Baldurin's fate. I wish to recover the ship's logbook. I will solve mystery of Baldurin's final voyage. Merchant League will destroy my artifacts to get treasure. This must not happen. If you help me, I get these precious things to me. You get treasure. Merchant men get nothing. Will you help? Yes. I'm afraid I cannot help you at this time, perhaps later. Though foiling, though foiling the plans of innocent merchants grates on my conscience, I will help you. Mendes, you are clearly working towards a noble end, and I will help you. I've had enough of this old man out of my way. Uh, I want to help, but I got a ton of shit going on right now, so can we do this? Can we do this a little later? Please reconsider, noble hero. There is much treasure and glory in this adventure. Okay, I didn't say no. Perhaps later. So st just just stay there. And uh, I can but try. Yeah, I can but try. Of course, it's locked. All right. Well, let's get the frick out of Mendes's house. But we know now he's here, and there is a quest available. Yeah, mate. Hello, mate. Callahan. I be scores of fish in the seven seas. Ain't seen you before, new ye be. Man, we're just popular with the newcomers here. Verily, I am here to meet a gentleman scholar by the name of Mendes. Indeed, it is my first visit to lovely Ulgoth's Beard, situated on the lovely Sword Coast, a short carriage ride from downtown Baldur's Gate. Ah, mate, born and raised in the beard, I be. Got rhyme in me blood and a sea chanty on me breath. <laughs> Watch where you stick your nose, or else I'll cut it off. Um, we don't need to give her information about Mendes. So, I don't know if it's a he or a she. Let's just say, uh... Indeed, this is my first, first visit here. A silver tongue do you have. The beard is lovely as a mule's ass, and it smells like a ten-day fish. Welcome all. May the fleas be kind, and the ladies kind. <laughs> I'm a little busy at present. I cannot stay to chat. Uh, thank you, good sir. Tis nothing. You look a mite floundered, mates. Can I be your assistance? Nay, filthy one, I do well without your help. Ah, you can. Know you Mendes of Waterdeep, or I be on the road for many a day, and I be looking for company of the opposite sex. <laughs> oh, I gotta say that one just for fun. If your tastes run to women, then Mistress Mallory be a willing partner. Of course, she got... Amy and Amorous Affliction. Of course, she's got Amnidian's Amorous Affliction. Oh, well, that doesn't sound good. Amnidian's Amorous Affliction? The pox. Ah, <laughs> I see. She's got the pox. All right, if your tates ever be run into the menfolk, there'll be Scotty McAverstein. He, he's, he's got the pox, too, from Mistress Mallory, you understand. Tis a terrible tale. 
Uh, never ye mind that, mate. I, uh, I've earned enough. I have. As you wish. Good day to you. Well, that was interesting. Callahan. Callahan, Mendes. Who's this foppy guy? Fenris. Oh my gosh. Good day. I am Fenris Bulan. Is there something you need? I am pleased to meet you. Have you gone to the on the tour of Durlog's Tower? Indeed I have. It was a wonderful tour, although somewhat steep in price. Why do you ask? Perhaps you are entertaining thoughts of following in my footsteps? Well, if he can survive, shit, we can. Look, he's got a friggin' feather sticking out of his hat. We thought that you might find the time to share some of your knowledge to the tower of the tower and the tour. The tale of that ill-fated tower is a fascinating one. Durlog Trollkiller, a great dwarven hero, built the tower. Over a long and successful career, Durlog amassed a great hoard of treasure. Rumors spoke of rooms full of gems and a great hall strewn with dusty heaps of gold coins. With the aid of higher dwarves, Durlog dug many chambers and passages in the tower and raised the lone tower above it, planning it as a seat where he could found a dwarven community and grow old in peace, surrounded by happy, prosperous kin. Instead, doppelgangers organized and aided by foul mind flayers slew and impersonated Durlog's companions. After the shocked dwarf discovered the first impersonation, he was attacked by all the others and spent a terror-filled ten day frantically fighting through his own fortress. Nice use of alliteration there. Chased by monsters who wore familiar forms but sought his death. Wow. In the end, alone and victorious, he was powerless to stop the fleeing Iliathids. Fearful they'd return, Durlog hired the finest craft folk he could find and began to rebuild his tower and the tor beneath as an elaborate succession of traps, magical wards, secret passages, sliding prison chambers, and triggered weapons. For several centuries, things went on like this, as the increasingly eccentric Durlog lived on fungi, <laughs> and it is cruelly whispered the bodies of intruders. Ah, cannibalism! Helping survivors since 400 B.C. At length he died, and presumably his bones still lie in some inner room guarded by thousands of deadly traps. Huh. After having seen the first few rooms of the tower myself, I can say that it must be as dangerous as the legends portend. It is a fascinating place to visit, and I strongly recommend that you take a tour. I must be off now. Farewell, and enjoy the tour. Yes. Oh, there's Chandelar. I know of you. You are... You are of an odd countenance, and I can count pretty darn high, too. I have need of you. What say you of this? Do not know who you are. Introduce yourself, and we shall see if I can help you. I am Chandelar. I am the default benefactor of this place. My home is here in my major interests, as are my major interests. I take interest in whoever comes this way, and you are very interesting indeed. I should like you to perform a task for me, a small thing really, but something I do not have time for myself. I need for you to go to another place and retrieve an item of mine. Very simple, and if you succeed, I will think all the better of you. What say you to this? Huh? Doesn't sound too bad. Why do you need me for this task when you seem more than capable, sir? Or, I will do as you ask. When will this need be done, and where will I be going? Or, I do not go out of my way for charity. Make it worth my while, or I will take it out of your hide. Wow, I could not play the game like that. Will there be suitable reward for this task? Mm hmm please. Oh. Why, do you need, why do you need me for this task, when you seem more than capable? That sounds like an honest, fair question. I have other things that call my attention, so it is more convenient that you go. Besides, I know you not, and this serves as good measure of you. Already I know you are more interested in the why and not so much the profit. Will you do this? Yes, I am ready now. No, I gotta sell some shit, dude. I gotta sell some shit, and then I will. I swear. Do not take long. This task needs attention soon. Oh my gosh. This is why I try to avoid new towns until I get some side quests done, because you just get pulled right into a, a quest. What's your tale? Torella. Greetings, adventurers. You must excuse me if I nary a happy word to share this day. There's been a loss in the family, you see. Worry not, lady. Is there anything we can do to help? Unless you wish to search for my errant son, then no. Tell us the tale and we might be able to help. 
I have, or perhaps I should say had, a son named Dalton. He fell in with a crew of adventurers from Waterdeep. Dalton was always obsessed with the idea of being a hero. Alas, he has neither the brains nor the ability, such as a mother's lot in life, however, to watch her children perform acts of idiocy despite her warnings or concerns. My poor boy took those acts of idiocy to the extreme. He and his thick-skulled cohorts took it upon themselves to plumb the depths of Durlog's tower. They bought a ward token from the shyster, Galkin, and made ready to leave. Though I begged and cried, Dalton still insisted on going. The band never returned. I fear that they were destroyed by the mad dwarf's mach machinations. That is the tale, sad but true. So, they bought a ward token from the shyster, Galkin. We just got two ward stones from who the other gnome guy who might have been a shyster too, but that was not his name, Galkin. So maybe he just changed his name so he could sell the newcomers. He saw us coming a mile away with those ward stones. I wish I could help, but we have other concerns at present. Rest easy, woman. We will find your son if he still lives. Yeah, why not? I already have 15 billion side quests. What's one more? Thank you so much. Such kindness from strangers is unheard of in this harsh life. I will wait Dalton's return with breathless anticipation. Okay. Well, we're not saying we're definitely going to find him, but we're going to try. This is another thief. Ike. Step right up, folks, and hear the tale of dread placed before thee. Join with me as I, adventure extraordinaire Ike Cascody and Vendar, lead yet another group of brave souls through the very seat of danger in the realms. To Durlog's Tower we shall go and witness the perils that have taken our lives of hundreds of courage, courageous men and women. See the horror of the treacherous traps. Feel the presence of the long, languishing dead. Marvel at the wondrous wealth buried below. Not for the weak of spirit, as I will not be held accountable for any heart failure during or after our expedition. Step up, step up, one at a time. Ah, good people of noble blood who would throw down the gauntlet in the face of chance. Come see the lengths a man must go to to protect what's his. A special package deal of 60 gold for your entire group. Not that you would need a discount. You have a deal, sir. When do we leave? Tis too much gold for my purse. I'm not interested in your adventuring tours, huckster. Well, I do need to go to the tower, but I don't want to go right now. Yes, the tower scares away the best of us. I'll be leaving here daily if you find your spine. All right, so we always have a chance to go to the tower. Did we get lucky? Oh my gosh, you're freaking kidding me. Hergen Stoneblade. Merry band of heroes ye be. Have I got the adventurer that'll make ye yearn for glory? I am Hergon Stoneblade, presently residing in Citadel Adbar. Well met. What adventurer do you speak of? No offense, but we're not looking for any new adventures right now. <laughs> I just got no room in my life for new friends. Well met. What adventure do you speak of? A glorious adventure indeed. You have heard of Durlog's Tower, mayhaps? I have come across the name before, like 20,000 times in the last 10 minutes. Durlog's troll killer was a dwarven hero of great renown, single-handedly slew many a dragon. He did. Me Granda was a good friend of Durlog's. They adventured together until Me Grandma's untimely death several centuries ago. Go on. Me Grandma was slain by an evil demon, but Durlog survived. Durlog kept Soul Taker, that had been Me Grandma's. Grandas. He was going to set it to me mother, but he was betrayed. A sad tale, that. After Durlog's built the tower, his family was replaced by doppelgangers. We heard the story. Durlog killed them all, but was driven mad by the act. He entrapped his tower heavily and forgot about me granda's dagger. So you want the dagger back. Perhaps we should speak of compensation, or I am not interested in this time, or I will find your dagger if I am able. Let's bring up the fact of compensation. Of course, I have an enchanted hammer. It is a powerful weapon in its own right. Should ye have no use for it, then I'll reckon it'll bring an excellent price. What say ye? It's fair price, or you'll have to do better than that. It's fair price. We'll find your dagger. We're going there anyways. Good fortune to ye, then. I shall wait your return here. Okay. Well, now I'll talk to you if you want. <laughs> well, take me over. Galkin. Here's that guy that sold him that wardstone. Hey, how'd you like to be supping on fine venison and tipping back to the good stuff? I have the key to Wealth Legendary, if you're up for it. Hear me out, and the rest of these sods will be tugging on your coattails for loose coppers someday. Uh, tell me more, good sir. Ah, you've an adventurous spirit in you. No doubt you've heard of the Labyrinth of Durlog's Tower, eh? 
and how she's been pillaged so often that fat nobles go there for picnics? Well, the tower has, but below are dungeons untouched. I have a token, a ward token to be sure, that gives entry to them. Tis yours if you'll but settle my tab so I can leave this fine place with all my limbs intact. Um, you do not have a deal because we just found out that you are a shyster. How much of a tab is at stake? We don't care. How did the likes of you get this? And I knew there was a cow, a catch. Get lost, roused about. Bah, cowards all. Still, I'll be here begging for more time if you change your mind. Okay, well. You want some whiskey? I don't think we will. If you have a gut coin to spend, I can set up whatever you need. I'll have that an adventurer might need. What can I get for you, the lot of you? That depends on what you have to offer. Yay! I feel like we finished a side quest just finding a place to sell. Congratulations! All right, let's get a good night's rest first. Okay, so he's got some cool stuff for sale. Uh, I really wish we could afford any of it, but we can't right now. Um, Ring of Invisibility, like 26,000. Cloak of Displacement that we could put on the Bard, put on Garrick, and he'd have, he'd have a better armor class. But we can't do any of that, so... We just bought the basics again, and we're just going to re-equip everybody here. Try to learn some spells, we just saved it. We couldn't identify any of these things. Everybody's equipped. Stone to Flesh Scroll, you can't learn that. Okay, protection from petrification. Nice. That will help. Wish we had that before we fought the basilisks. And then see if we can learn chill touch. The caster completes the spell. A blue glow encompasses his hand. This energy attacks the life force of any living creature upon which the wizard makes a successful melee attack. The touched creature must make a saving throw versus spell or suffer one through eight points of damage and receive a minus two thaco, two hit armor class zero modifier. It's kind of cool. And he did it. Has two new spells now. That's good for us. But let's change it to protection from petrification. Grants a recipient immunity to all petrification attacks for five turns. This includes basilisk and medusa gaze, cursed scrolls of petrification, etc. Yes, please. Okay, well, guys, episode 20 there. Pretty much just got more quests this whole entire episode. We're going to end up doing something next turn for sure. Either go to the tower, Durlog's tower do Chandelar's mission, which seems like more of a main mission than a side quest, and um, just kind of check it out and see if we are able to uh, withstand the dangers in the tower, and if we're not, if we really feel overwhelmed, we'll reload it, and we'll take on some other minor quest. Um, one other thing, I do want to get some of these items, these wardstones identified before we go, so we're going to have to leave, come back, and then take on the tower, I think is our best bet. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to do an episode every Sunday, so please keep tuning in, and I appreciate your support. You've been hanging out with Underdrummer, and uh, my motto is I've never, ever made a Minecraft video. <laughs> All right, guys, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.